So let's talk about a way that you can save money here and now on Earth. And that's with making a better HVAC system. You already got me sold. Go ahead. Um, Texas A&M's Dr. Hei Kwan Jung is making a better humidification process for HVAC systems. And so you say, why HVAC? Why does this matter? HVAC systems actually consume 76% of the electricity in your house and in most commercial buildings. So, My electric bill would actually agree with that, yes. Yeah, your, your, your electric right. bill is driven mostly in part by the need to heat and cool your house. And part of that is also dehumidifying it. Um, dehumidification is used to remove moisture from the air to improve the air quality. And most dehumidifiers actually use refrigerants, which are can actually, like, in addition to costing a ton in your electric bill are also terrible for the environment dude so like i was listening to this i think planet money episode where they talked about how refrigerants are so bad for the environment i don't know if it's the government or like a private company that's going out and paying people money to buy their old refrigerant and then they're just burning it yeah i mean refrigerants are terrible and you're right in saying that i'm just gonna spit out another fun fact because i'm full of them oh, today. spit it out yeah go ahead one kilogram of the refrigerant R410A, which is used in HVAC systems in commercial buildings, so like the ones that we're talking about now, okay. has the same greenhouse impact as two tons of carbon dioxide, or basically turning on your internal combustion engine car and running it for six months straight. So if one Elon kilogram, wants like to the amount the that's like in, in your HVAC system at your house, has enough carbon dioxide in it to you know, basically offset running your car for six months. So Musk should be focusing on fixing the HVAC system. Yeah, maybe we need electric noise. HVAC systems. Who knows? But so Dr. Zhang from Texas A&M has found a better way. Okay. And it's inspired by these things called zeolites. They're a natural alternative to he dehumidification. And basically, they're these thin films that are really hydrophilic, which means they suck water into them. Mm -hmm. They've got these kind of tunnels that absorb moisture out of the air and bring it into this film, this membrane, instead of leaving it in the air. So that's exactly what we want to do with dehumidification. The problem is zeolites are like pretty fragile and they need to repl be replaced pretty often. So like a great inspiration, but not the solution yet. Okay. He f he's using a material called polyimid, which he thinks can be a suitable replacement inspired by zeolites. This is right up our alley, man. Polyimid, yeah. we actually did some research with it. It's flexible, it's relatively cheap, and it's pretty chemically stable. Uh, exactly. So, like like a zeolite, um, it's not permeable, thin film, though. It's not permeable. So, this is actually what, and then I'm going to say it. We say it too often. It's the secret sauce in his research. Um, oh, you said it. He's, he's turning polyimid, which is typically non-permeable, into this hydrophilic permeable membrane. Okay. And the way he's doing it is through a system called hydrolysis. Okay. Um, basically, he uses a chemical to create hydrophilic channels in the polyimid that kind of mimics what's on the zeolite. Um, and how this polyimid works is it's this thin film membrane that sits adjacent to the airflow in an HVAC system. And basically the polyimid film attracts some of the water into it through these hydrophilic pores. And on the backside of the film, he's just got a vacuum running to suck the water out of those pores so that they're ready to accept more water from the next air coming by. So it's continuous water removal from the air. Um, and it, the polyimid is a lot stronger than the zeolite. So like, it seems like he's making a step in the right direction. It sounds like a no brainer. Like the system isn't really complex. Polyimid is cheap. So are we good to start using it now? Like, is this research done? Well, the issue is, is zeolites are about as efficient as current dehumidification systems today. So zeolites okay. seem like they'd be a good replacement, but again, they're not strong enough. Polyimid works like zeolites, but not nearly as efficiently. And the reason why is because when he's hydrolyzing it, he's basically chemically burning holes in this polyimid. And when you burn too many holes, it's no longer as strong as it, it was before. Structure. Right. So it's not quite ready yet, but it is a huge step in the right direction. And it's kind of a way of mimicking this zeolite system that we know works with polyimid, which is a material that we know is really reliable. So he's getting there. So the polyimid is leveraging both of best worlds that the refrigerants offer and the zeolites offer, but it's just lacking in the category of per performance for the time being. Yeah, for now. And it's it's definitely okay. a good step of research and definitely. it might get us to a place where you can heat and cool your house in a way that's more efficient.